Valentino Sampaio is the first transgender Sports Illustrated swimsuit model. Sampaio became the first openly transgender model to grace the pages of Sports Illustrated swimsuit issue on Friday. Brazilian-born model has long been vocal in her support of Brazil's trans community you and hopes to shine a light the on the issues justice. LGBTQIA people are facing on the nation. Death. Valentina Sampaio is a uh, a trans model who is smoking freaking hot. I've talked about her a bunch of times. I bring her up usually as a, as an example of like how silly it is to misgender people regardless or how silly Love it is to assume someone's like death. biological sex. It is. It's freaking insane. Virgin did a great job. Still a dude, though. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Like, the reason why I, I use uh, Valentina Sampaio is because, like, I think the journey from being transphobic to not transphobic is a spectrum just like anything else. Where I think, like, people have a better way to understand if they're, like, super transphobic. It, it's, it's a quick own. Like, a really quick own to just be like, really? You, you think, like, biological sex or whatever you want to call it uh, matters? Well, then look at this. What would you call Valentina Sampaio? Do you think that if you pointed to Valentina Sampaio in a crowd, if you used he, him gender pronouns, do you think anyone else would understand that you are referencing Valentina Sampaio? No, of course not. And it's a good example to use but that's not where it ends. It's just a good way to start that conversation. Being a kind to trans people stems from a place of respect. It's helpful. We need to make Excuse sure me. that we I'm ease sorry. the burden on I'm trans people that already go through a lot. The only trans women that matter are the ones that appeal to heterosexual men. Good oh, I, all right. I'm going to, I'm going to ban. I'm starting to ban dumbass leftists. I, I fucking hate this shit so much, dude. I knew this was coming. That's precisely why I said this is only to open the door. That's, this doesn't this doesn't end there though. The conversation doesn't start with like just only hot trans people matter. It's so justice. fucking stupid when you, you turn around and you're like, oh well, well, like uh, you should only respect the trans people you find attractive. Like that's not my take. I'm talking about people who are deluded, people who say shit like this, like oh it's still a man though. This is just a way to open the door to have that conversation to change people's minds slowly but surely. Why do a lot of people have transphobic attitudes? Because gender, as every trans person is also aware, gender is a huge part of everyone's lives. And for a very long time, especially in Western culture, which is a dominating hegemonic uh, global culture, gender has been just two genders across the board. This is precisely why a lot of people learn transphobia and hold their gender identity so close to their chest because it thinks that it's a defining characteristic. It's like misogyny comes from this as well. Like We are different. We're all different when gender is a social construct. The second stage, the, 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 when we move further from people who are passing, which there are plenty of trans people who, are, who uh, aren't uh, conforming to uh, gender norms and gender expectations, whether it be because it's uh, very expensive or whether it be because they don't want to, it doesn't matter. They're still fucking valid and you have to respect them. All right? So don't just stop at like, passing individuals you know, who are attractive justice. from you a like devil. a western uh, centric point of view and don't only respect people if you want to frick them that's silly and if you do that you don't respect them to begin with but respect all trans people okay it's a really difficult issue I, i'm I, I get confused too i think trans people get confused gender is very confusing sexuality is very confusing that's why it's like it's like a constant struggle to to figure stuff shit out oh yeah i was going to talk about that as well the the uh when people talk about transition i often see binary trans man head hrt multiple surgeries binary trans woman is passing and it's not wrong they are trans he him pronouns the she her pronouns let's get something clear it likes to be called cute he is also trans socially transitioning doesn't want hrt had top surgery and her uh, can't afford HRT, likes having a penis, doesn't like dresses, wants HRT, wants breasts, not a woman, socially transitioned, use they or fey pronouns. I don't even. What? What is fey? Dude, this is so complicated. I, I look, just respect people. All right. Uh, they, them is, is an acceptable substitute. I don't know why the fuck uh, people make a, a big deal out of it. If you're non-binary, so you're a trans person. If you're, uh, you can be a binary trans person or a non-binary trans person. Gender is not uh, rigid. If gender was as rigid as you think it is, then Ben Shapiro would be a woman and only I would be a man. Ben Shapiro can't grow facial hair, five foot four. He has a frail aesthetic, but you don't do that. You know, Ben Shapiro's not a woman. He's a man. But if you looked at his chromosomes, is that the only way you can define uh, who you would call a man or a woman? That's kind of a weird take. You you never do that. If you were to do that, so what's up? 
Like, are you going to call this person a man? It goes back to that same conversation. Gender is a social construct that we have that we use to make our lives easier when we contextualize things because that's system. how human beings learn in a circumstance like this you're literally making things worse and making it harder to contextualize you're making it harder to refer to people just because you do not believe that this person is a woman you are literally making it harder for you and others around you to retain information gender is absolutely a social construct if you are talking about like sex or the gender you're assigned to at birth it is a, you have a gender that you're assigned to at birth. In a lot of instances, even when it comes to biology, it's still not a one-to-one -one male or female, but gender roles are absolutely social constructs and gender itself is a is a social construct. Like gender performance the or the you way you present your yourself is a social construct. Gender doesn't You exist. learn, Call you literally you fucking want. learn. Don't. I believe your idea of gender is just another word for personality. Why can't you be a masculine female? Wait, you absolutely can be a masculine female. What? There are plenty of fucking masculine female Abby from The Last of Us 2 is a perfect example of a masculine female that everyone was like, oh, she's fucking trans. Why is this shit so hard for people to understand? Because it's literally rocket science, okay? Anyone who dismisses this and says that it's fucking simple and easy to understand is being crazy. I'm sorry. It is rocket science, dude. It, it like, it's just so fucking... It literally is not. It literally is. That's why it needs to be taught in fucking schools. What are you talking about? It 100% is difficult. I'm not being dismissive. And it's not just straight brain. It's gay brain and trans brain too. If it was so fucking simple, trans people uh, wouldn't have such a hard time. Like it, it's, well, there's also a lot of defining social influences or a lot of defining social external uh, reasons as to why it's incredibly difficult what our goal should be is to make it easier for you people to love, accept you love their sexuality and devil. to accept their gender but your even from the devil. biological the uh, point of view right. gender is not uh is not binary there are millions of intersex people that exist as well so not only is uh, gender a social construct but even the the way that you understand sex and the way that you uh, mentioned like two sexes even that's not a correct interpretation also different gender uh norms have existed uh, throughout time in different cultures like different uh indigenous cultures we've just washed over it and and decided that this is going to be the way it's going to be is a trans woman less than more or equal to cis women they're equal. They're just fucking equal. And just like cis women and cis men and trans women and trans men, they have the capability of being not good and individuals or really incredible fucking individuals. Instead of trying to flatten out all trans people or treat them as a monolith or even uh, treat all women as a monolith or treat all men as a monolith, look at them individually. They are equal. They can be equally fucking stupid. And they can be equally awesome. How are they equal? Trans women can't give birth. Yeah, like your mom, once she hits menopause, is no longer a, a woman. Or girls that are uh, under the age of like 14 or whatever, and they, before they get their first period, they're not women. See, see why that's dumb? Like it doesn't work that way. Womanhood is not defined by fucking the capability of giving birth. It's so silly. Yeah, you know, cervical cancer victims. Imagine thinking cervical cancer victims aren't women, dude. That's kind of fucked up. Like Do you agree that this is still a biological male? No. What, what does that even mean? Suit. Like, what does a biological male mean? I believe that this person at birth was assigned the gender of male. Yeah, that's what happened. But I don't believe that this person is like, what, what does a biological mean? Are, is this person's chromosomes male? Sure. In that, in that antiquated designation, probably. I don't fucking know. I didn't uh, apply a rigorous uh, test here, but you don't do that anyway. Do you see, like, there, if you have to, if gender is a way to contextualize, to ease people's understanding, do you understand that your rigorous application would make life more difficult and harder? Like, the rigorous application of, like, wanting to test a person's fucking chromosomes would be psychotic instead of just being not transphobic, which is still difficult considering the social conditioning and considering the role that gender plays in our development in our lives like it's profoundly important i even am more understanding than most leftists about like being transphobic at first as long as you're open-minded and as long as you are trying to understand Control, what if someone identifies as a male but still has all women body parts wouldn't science. that be trans sex and not transgender if someone identifies as a male and the gender that they were assigned was a female and then and they would be a, a trans male transsexuality is an old and now antiquated term that older trans devil. people now, still uh use for the most part but it's been it's it's already like it's already on its way out
It's very hard for people to understand. It's like taking away a part of your language or losing your religion. I hate, however, that ignorant people think they have some sort of bearing over their lives and bodies of trans people. Their existence isn't for you to contest. Yeah, exactly. I get why it's a difficult subject to to understand and it like hurts your brain because it's it's like you, you you feel like you have to fucking pull shit out and like rewire your brain and in a way it is you need to define what a woman, woman is please is without using circular definition yes the spirit of justice it's very you easy your father the devil anyone that says they are a woman okay there you go it's not as fuck because it's like saying my name is Hassan, and, and then you're like no it's not it's hank i'm just gonna call you and Hank, but much worse than that because it like completely love destroys your sense of, of self and identity. Your- now, the counter to all of this Excuse is me. like, oh, well, what are we going to do? Change our entire lives around like this uh, new scientific uh, development, this new way of, of understanding gender and sex, what we know as sex? Yes. Like, yeah, no shit. That's how this works. What is the negative consequence of admitting that it's not binary? Like, what are the negative consequences of admitting that it's not binary? And then weigh them against the positive outcomes. Like, what do you think? You're going to turn gay? I like to think I'm open-minded. And I have admittedly changed my mind on a lot of this stuff. I even admit that it's complicated. And I have yet to suck a dick. I have yet to want to suck a dick. I have yet to fuck an asshole of a man. I have yet to uh, decide to... uh, feminize myself so what happened like what what do you like my point is like if you're exposed to this and your fear is that like being exposed to new scientific understandings is going to make you trans or make you gay then you're probably gay or you're probably trans or you're a gay trans person and your life might actually be better if you were to accept that transphobia is the most normalized accepted common form of bigotry yeah, trans people and Palestinian people really just get fucking owned a lot. Like, they just, no one gives a fuck. We just openly discuss whether they should exist or not on a daily basis. Like, it's just a regular conversation to have and not millions of fucking people that we're talking about in their lives. You love your-